Theothanic here with a replay cast from the 1v1 ranked queue, this time featuring Black Magic and NC Game Wizard. This is on Mars. It is a Russian colony with machine shops consuming electronics. We have expansives, robots, scientists, and elites available. I would highly suggest not founding elite on 1v1. That seems to me to be the fastest way to ensure that you lose. So we really only have three to choose from, expansives, robot scientists, and that's it. There are nukes on the market, black market over here, underground nukes. So this scientist spot right here in this water and iron patch looks pretty good. Uh, close to some high aluminum, close to some silicon, not too far away from carbon. So it's got pretty much everything you need. There's like a robot spot over here, and... A scientific HQ has been founded. Yeah, not too much else. So NC Game Wizard takes this scientist spot for some extra money. And uh, puts down three steel mills, buys up all a the aluminum that has been needs founded. to get to the upgrade, and then Black Magic deciding to crush a bunch of this iron and immediately as a robot and immediately get the upgrade to HQ2. NC Game Wizard should follow HQ2 shortly, just needs to wait for the steel to come online. But that should come soon enough. A scientific HQ has been upgraded. HQ2 for NC Game Wizard, I expect. Yeah, there we go, some movement into aluminum. And then maybe based on these prices, some water, picking up some water might not be a bad idea to get into short term profits. So we'll just have to see what NC Game Wizard decides to do. Black Magic is going into lots of metal and lots of steel. Only two things of steel right now, but lots of metal. Um, that's an interesting choice. Steel is dropping very rapidly unfortunately there's really not much on the market that makes positive money other than water and black magic is a decent distance from that water so this boost in the steel could be problematic Especially because I'm assuming NZ Game Wizard is selling down that steel because Black Magic is not selling down steel, just trying to deny Black Magic money. NZ Game Wizard moving into some electricity, going to chase after this high power price, and maybe that's why Black Magic is going into all this metal and steel. If it's really cheap, it's pretty easy to, yes, build a geothermal vent. Now, of course, Black Magic only has 1k cash on hand, so this geothermal event is not going to be able to be defended, but NC Game Wizard deciding to defend their own power. This is a mistake, as Black Magic actually doesn't have enough money to purchase any offensive black market items. You easily could do something about Black Magic's geotherm, and then Black Magic would just be kind of stuck here making $1 metal and aluminum and 4 and $6 per second in iron so a little bit of a misplay from nc game wizard there i think could use that goon instead to attack this geothermal plants and would be a lot better for it both players are chasing this early power price so it New should drop pretty quickly auction. carbon auction now, carbon thanks to NC Game Wizard's windmills is actually pretty high, but whoever does win this isn't going to make any power money. This power price, once this geotherm is up, is going to drop far too rapidly for the person who wins this so... bid, even if it's only for 16k. So NC Game Wizard not going to be able to pay off their debt. It is 26,000, and the power price is going to drop too rapidly. Black Magic probably able to pay through their debt and maybe make a little bit of power money. Maybe that's how Black Magic earns enough money to buy the increasing electronics. 6.6k worth of electronics that he needs and counting in order to get the upgrade to HQ3. But 
at least for NCC Game Wizard, this will be making $84 per second, which is the best money out of anything on the board, other than this geotherm, which hasn't quite paid for itself yet in terms of getting paying through that debt, but that will happen by the beginning of dawn, I would say. NC Game Wizard just has no money, also needs to buy 2k of glass, but that's a lot nicer than the electronics that Black Magic needs to buy. Steel mills are earning zero dollars per second. Metal mines are off to save power, but they could be earning cash. The geotherm is finally making positive money for black magic, but the power price is so low, it's only making $35, $34 per second after paying for all of the power of these steel mills at 0.3 each. And they're just moving into some electronics factory. Could have been done a lot earlier, I would think, as Black Magic has plenty of iron. NC Game Wizard is HQ3, moving into some water pumps, finally getting some cash on hand from the water pumps. We'll need to move out of those soon as the price is rapidly decreasing. Farms looks like a good idea. Keep that debt under control and make some positive money. Yeah, so we do see a transition into farms. Just need to be mindful that the water price could pop back up. EMP from NC Game Wizard on Black Magic. Black Magic deciding to go into electrolysis reactors. That means the water price is going to increase rapidly. But fortunately for Black Magic, NC Game Wizard just got out of water, so Black Magic will not be feeding water into NC Game Wizard's hands. Black Magic winning carbon scrubbing auction for 32k. That means these electro electronics factories, once they excuse me, once they turn back on, will be making well a little bit more money. Carbon's only 10, but it is nice that you won't be feeding money into your opponent which could be happening with the high water price. The water is starting to creep back up. NC Game Wizard also went for Silicon. It's an interesting choice because Silicon isn't that high. I probably would have gone into two farms and then maybe another water. Maybe two farms in a single black magic tile for electrolysis reactor just to keep that price under control. But perhaps NC Game Boys are thinking about building up a silicon stockpile to move into glass kilns on HQ4. Black magic finally catching up HQ3, moving back into more steel mills, which aren't making that much money, but will allow him to upgrade faster making some money from the these electrolysis reactors and now is going to go into some water i bet yes a scientific hq uh, high water nc game wizard upgrading hq4 this high water is going to be a nuke magnet so probably want to put a goon squad on it at the earliest opportunity otherwise that tile could be useless NC Game Wizard going into two electrolysis reactors and two solar condensers. Solar condensers cost glass to put down, which is, but it's only 0.7k, and those are immediately going to be frozen by Black Magic. And a response in kind with an underground nuke. Should have seen that coming. Right now, Black Magic is behind. When you're a robot, you want to be leading a scientist a little bit in the HQ upgrades. Black Magic is strictly behind at this point. HQ3 versus an HQ4 scientist. Black Magic is making some money, but most of that is coming from the electronic factory. In contrast, NZ Game Wizard. Once this freezes up, we'll be making money from far more tiles and black magic.
although some of this food money is going to pay off debt, so only positive 0.6 per second on the selling down the food. Water auction. Black Magic's going to pay 20000 for it. It's another high water. Fortunately, electricity is low, and with two wind turbines and a geothermal plant, it's probably not going to go up anytime soon, as long as both players keep on auto-selling. Black Magic smartly getting out of this medium water tile, and probably want to defend this one from a nuke, as I imagine the nukes will be incoming again soon. Black Magic able to upgrade to HQ4, going to move into some glass and silicon, going to move into more aluminum. Finally starting to pull some income from Black Magic. And that income is going to be frozen. Out by MT Game Wizard, good freeze right there. Onto the steel, which prevents an upgrade from happening onto the electronics factories, which are making the most money. Fortunately, it wasn't able to hit these glass kilns, but you can't get everything. NC Game Wizard 34k in the bank, switching out of water into four electrolysis reactors in a 1v1 setting. This is going to kill the price very, very rapidly, especially if they're auto sold, and that will be the case. Four is probably an overcommitment, but not much you can do with that setting. Move all the way into glass. Completely out of steel, but hasn't bought any steel of their own. It looks like Black Magic is buying steel. The NC Game Wizard are going to try and make a purchase into Black Magic, but I don't see this working. NC Game Wizard doesn't have the cash on hand. Doesn't have any income making this work, I don't think. Already crashed out of the silicon price, gonna have to go back into steel. This electrolysis reactors are going to crash the price of oxygen and fuel. But it, they're gonna make a run on it. The black market is online. Black Magic moving into electrolysis reactors of their own, which is a little bit surprising as they are just gonna sit there and be auto off. Doesn't have enough money to purchase the fuel for these chems, so it needs to sell down a New little bit just get enough money to defend themselves. As if they sit here not making money with four of their tiles, NZ Game Wizard could potentially make this majority buy. Not the best pleasure dome tile as it is a robot and on the map and a scientist which is medium entertainment demand. Water's way back high again, but that's Black Magic just trying to feed debt into NC Game Wizard. The Black Magic is driving the price of water up high. I'm not sure why these electrolysis reactors are allowed to be turned off as they Pirates. would be making money. As you can see, Black Magic is earning money faster than NC Game Wizard is going to nuke out the silicon. Interesting choice, medium term. I would have thought that freezing some of NC Game Wizard's production with the EMPs would have been strictly better while NC Game Wizard is looking to make a purchase. But as we see, Black Magic only needs to purchase two, one of his shares before game NC Game Wizard purchase two, and that's not going to happen. So NC Game Wizard just needs to sell out, upgrade HQ4, and try to finish the game in other ways. You have a hacker array online, doing a fuel shortage for NC Game Wizard. Black Magic in plenty of electronics. Now in food and chems, making some pretty good money. Packing fuel will do two things for NZ Game Wizard. It'll make their stockpile of fuel worth more, and it will make 
black magic's chems work less, worth less. Not worthless, but worth less. Price manipulations to begin shortly. Moving into some solar panels as that electricity price has finally increased with everybody on HQ4 and not enough electri electricity production. NC Game Wizard living dangerously. But Black Magic doesn't quite have enough money to finish the deal, so NZ Game Wizard will be able to move and defend themselves. Black Magic in a sellout, use that money to purchase the upgrade. Solar panels come online immediately, circuit overloaded. A little bit of a misplay by NZ Game Wizard as their black market cooldown is online. Should have put a goon right there on that solar panel at the middle, at the end here. Would have, would have intercepted the circuit overload, or at least only allowed one of the tiles to be undone. Not making power thanks to the circuit overload. Optimization center. Right here, double adjacency, going for 28k. Prices are pretty high for a 1v1, so it makes sense. Black Magic refers to HQ5. 28k might be a little bit much. This Black Magic does start to need to worry about their power debt. We'll have to see if Black Magic does anything regarding that, or if Black Magic thinks they can just finish the game before debt becomes an issue. Yeah, they are going to move into two solar panels. I would expect to see a circuit overload from NC Game Wizard at any time. As this goon squad has stubbornly remained at 5k. And NC Game Wizard does have a cooldown. Or a nuke on water. We caught a dirty rat trying to break our stuff. Oh now NC Game Wizard has a circuit overload. And um decides to use it on the steel mills. Which is probably a good idea, as this does mean these uh, solar panels are minus 50% thanks to the dust storm, but Black Magic has been optimizing uh, power. But um, unfortunately, Black Magic just going to turn off these steel mills because they're not making too much money. So I still think the circuit overload would have been better on the solar panels, as they are still making 192 a second despite it being a dust storm now what nc game wizard could do is drop a circuit overload on these wind turbines which would be a strictly better idea the game wizard making quite good money off of these wind turbines which are pulling in a lot of money although rapidly dropping as the price of power is decreasing nc game wizard Probably won't be able to pay off their debt, but will make their stock price a lot higher, especially won't be able to pay off their debt now that their solar panels are circuit overloaded. NC Game Wizard just not using the black market often enough. And maybe using it on the wrong items this late in the game. It would have been nice to keep Black Magic in D debt, unable to attack NC Game Wizard back, which is where I think putting a circuit overload on these wind turbines would have been strictly better for the solar panels than just freezing this mess of Black Magic's profits. But MC Game Wizard, still in the lead right now, does have four pips of Black Magic stock purchased, while Black Magic only has one of MC Game Wizard's. In some decent markets, as getting lots of money off of this water thanks to the solar flare. These solar panels are doing nothing, but, and even if they were, weren't circuit overloaded, power is $5, $4 each. 
so it doesn't really matter. Should be transitioning the into something else. Food wouldn't be a bad idea, especially since you have water coming in. Cameras wouldn't be a bad idea. Although black magic is stockpiling chems and able to sell them out at any time. More freezes from NC Game Wizard, this time on the chemicals. Trying to hit this patent line, which is immediately going for nanotech. Black magic buying up a lot of fuel. Noticing NC Game Wizard is out of fuel. NC Game Wizard hacking electronics, which is a very curious decision as black magic is in electronics right now. You usually want to hack something your opponent isn't in, so carbon might be a strictly better hack at this point, but it's really cheap. So black magic could easily get into it. So maybe glass would be a better market to hack. The black market is offline. Black magic back in D debt. Up to see does black magic notice this hack no they're just going to sell get more money from it so nc game wizard should get the better of this hack but does need to sell out of all these electronics soon the only problem is by getting a stockpile of electronics black magic was able to sell at the higher price so i'm not sure after the hack if nc game wizard will have made more money would have denied black magic more money than if they had just auto sell and hacked something else. So... I guess what I'm trying to say is the difference in money made between the two I think would have been better if they had just auto sold electronics rather than stockpiling them and waiting for the hack. But I've not run the numbers, that's just my intuition. Could be incorrect. Moving into some very expensive steel out of those electronics because Black Magic is going for a hacker raven. Actually, Black Magic just playing with prices. That's just going on. Buying up the steel, selling out of it as soon as NC Gamer, NC Game Wizard moves into it. Just forcing NC Game Wizard to burn money by rotations. Quite an effective strategy. Black Magic does have enough money to finish buying into NC Game Wizard's stock, and then they will be about even, except Black Magic in D debt, not able to attack NC Game Wizard, NC Game Wizard in A debt, a slightly higher stock price. NC Game Wizard should be using this advantage to attack Black Magic. Unfortunately, the black market isn't that great for attacking. Power is back up though, so NC Game Wizard could circuit overload and he does can't forcing the cancellation of these solar panels but those are just going to be rotated over here and then making the steel mills burn through a lot of power 0.6 each prepare for pending market adjustments would be nice to have that circuit overload stored up back from the NT game wizard isn't purchasing black market items when the cooldown comes. Would have been better to purchase cheap things and then use them later when the opportunity comes rather than waiting until the opportunity comes and then purchasing because then NC Game Wizard could circuit overload over here and then circuit overload the solar panels when they come online again as they're still pretty cheap and just force Black Magic to rotate all over the place. Black Magic now hacking chems. NC Game Wizard not using that hacker array, which is a little bit of a mistake. If you're not going to use it, better to be a pleasure dome. It is on, so it is burning 0.5 power per second. You can see that it is a very neck and neck race right now. NC Game Wizard has 2% over Black Magic, but Black Magic keeps on with these good hacks, then uh, Black Magic is going to pull in the lead on the race to buy out the other player, I think. Just needs to keep them s Black Magic from falling into D... further levels of D debt already plus two. 
Like Magic also been optimizing production. MC Game Wizard not in any optimization centers at all. So Black Magic does have a production bonus for the items that Black Magic gets in. So Black Magic can afford to put down Rocket two greenhouse farms and we'll be selling making about probably as much as NC Game Wizards with well they've rotated out they only have two so Black Magic will be making significant more leave more money off of these greenhouse farms than NC Game Wizard will especially because the water price is very low NC Game Wizard auto selling out of water which makes this transition for Black Magic easier still neck and neck right now 81% 79% Black Magic does have nanotechnology though, so at the end I expect to see Black Magic scrap out of buildings and m might push Black Magic right to the edge. Black Magic does have a ton of steel sitting here, a huge stockpile, just trying to make it as awkward as possible for NC Game Wizard to do any of these transitions. Purchased into the steel when NC Game Wizard got out of the steel mills and now that NC Game Wizards going back into steel mills is going to sell out making steel one dollar making this transition completely pointless. Black Magic using these hacks effectively this last hack should put Black Magic into victory. Look at that ridiculous price of chemical sells out gets the buy right before NC Game Wizard neck in the neck finish but Black Magic just using the tools that he had available better than NC Game Wizard. NC Game Wizard sat on this hacker array over here for such a long time and didn't use it. Wasn't when he did hack, was hacking markets that Black Magic was in. NC Game Wizard didn't use their advantage in the black market to punish Black Magic. Black Magic was sitting in D debt for at least two souls, if I remember correctly. So using that black market more would could have given the NC Game Wizard the edge, because it was neck and neck, was it like five per less than five percent difference between the two players right at the end. EMPs are still 14k and you know still plenty of targets that you could hit and do some decent economic damage, but I think the end of the day, what did allow Black Magic to come back, better use of the hacker array, and NC Game was just sitting there not using the hacker array for the latter quarter or third of the game, which is an issue. Let's take a look quickly at the charts and graphs. What's going on? We can look at the production and sales and see that Black Magic did have. Well, NC Game Wizard had more hacks, four versus three, but I'd say Black Magics were more effective, and then NC Game Wizard stopped using them at the end. The so, Game Wizard hacking into fuel, but uh, didn't make too much money off of it, only 40k. Hacking into chems, but made. Once again, not even just about 40k versus Black Magic Tack in chems made somewhere north of 150k. Black Magic was producing chems, so that sold number is a little bit misleading. And then uh, Black Magic with a nice short in glass, probably making about 70k. And then NZ Game Wizard with a decent hack in electronics but um hard to tell how much nc game wizard actually made off of those electronics more than black magic because you can see black magic did make 337k in electronics so that was mostly from auto selling them black magic also getting into optimizations better which allowed him to rotate better stick in chems longer and nc game wizard just rotating a little bit too much you can see 10 more structures built by NC Game Wizard, and some of those were chasing the markets that Black Magic was playing in in the later parts of the game. So, just one of the better players in 1v1 showing off why 
he is one of the better players in 1v1, although NC Gamers are definitely held his own, got the better found out of the two, and just needed to push some of those advantages that they had into the late game, and then probably could have come up with a victory. Well, if you enjoyed this ranked replay cast, hit that like button, subscribe, or leave a message in the comments. Philofanic, signing out.